As we've already mentioned, one of my favorite times of the year to come to Branson is at Christmas time. You 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 find a festive of celebrating the birth of Christ. Christmas is definitely evident right now. This is the time to come to Branson. And uh, you're going to see a new show here. Kenny Rogers presents The Toy Shop. And uh, joining us right now is Billy Dean, who plays Hank Longley. And uh, Billy, welcome to Bond Radio Network. Oh, man, it's good to be here, Byron. Thanks for having me, buddy. Um, you know, I've been on tour with Kenny for several years this time of year. We always... Uh, tour together around the Christmas season and we were coming through Missouri last year and the Starlight Theater asked us if we had anything that was you know Christmas for the the, the theater for the season and the first thing we thought of was the toy shop. Hey, uh, Kenny used to play it, uh, Hank Longley, my, the character I'm, I'm taking over, on Broadway. He did it for about a year and then they toured it for about seven years and uh, and he's entrusted that lead role to me for this Christmas season, and I'm very thankful for that. Well, I think the toy shop even has a real personal meaning for uh, Kenny. Goes back to childhood for him, I believe. That's right. He uh, he used to, you know, he grew up in the projects, and he used to stop in at this little five and ten cent store, and there was an old gentleman there that used to tell him stories behind some of the toys there, and give him a, a buck a day to sweep up the the uh, the floors there at the shop, and. Kenny decided to, uh, there was a lot of moral and ethical values in the stories that he remembered and, uh, and decided to write an, enti an entire Broadway production about it. Hey, Billy, let's take it back a little bit. Now, you got really noticed on Star Search. That goes back a few years. <laughs> yeah. Ed McMahon. Do you remember what Ed McMahon? I remember McMahon. that show. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us uh, got our start, like Sawyer Brown, uh, myself. Um, after I won a show on Star Search, the folks in Nashville really started taking me seriously, and I, I got signed to Capitol Records around 1989, 90, and our first single, Only Here for a Little While, came out. And, uh, man, it just uh, it snowballed after that. Songs like, I Miss Billy the Kid, Somewhere in My Broken Heart, We Just Disagree, uh, Let Them Be Little. And, you know, if you go back and look at my body of work, which I've been able to do over the years, songs like I Miss Billy the Kid, Men Will Be Boys, Young Man, Let Them Be Little, the same theme in my body of work runs throughout the toy shop, which is that inner child innocence, trying to hold on to that, you know. Yeah. What's it like traveling with a great like Kenny Rogers and even doing a production like The Toy Shop, you know, based on what he wrote? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, Kenny, by the way, uh, we're excited. To, he just got inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame just now. Just now. Just now. <laughs> I told him, I said, well, good things come to those who wait, buddy. <laughs> but um, to get a chance to work with a pro like that, even at 74 years old, he comes into work every day at 5 o'clock. He gets goes into the dressing room with him and his band. They have a full setup in the band in the band room. They have keyboards, drums, and everything. And he works on his show every single day. Works on his dialogue. Works on future projects such as Christmas tour. So uh, work ethic number one uh, is one thing I've learned from him. Being a really professional, having good work ethic, and then um, the toy shop is a. A big undertaking. It, uh, thank goodness I've, I've had some experience in acting. I've done a few mu movies and, and I was able to take some of that experience uh, to the stage. I didn't realize how unique uh, it was going to be to, to, to do a show like well, this. Well, I was wondering, now Kenny, of course, has you know done movies also. Uh, did he give you any acting tips? Well, <laughs> the only thing he did is I, I called him up, as I, well, I texted him. The, believe it or not, he texted and everything. I said, man, I sure do have some big shoes to fill. And he texted me back. He said, well, you got big feet. Uh, but he did give me one thing that calmed my nerves opening night. He said, Billy, we did this seven years in a row. And every single show, something goes wrong. And he said, if you think about it, that's the beauty of live performances. Live performances is about trying to get it perfect. And very rarely do you ever do that, but the, the nights that you get really close to perfect, that much material, having everything come together, the lights, the music, the kids, the marks, it truly is a, a miracle yeah. when it does come to, together. And uh, that's what Kenny, to this day, doesn't use teleprompters or anything like that. If he messes up, if things happen, that's the way it happened 
that night on November the 4th, whatever, that's the beauty of live. And he's right. A lot of people don't even know what live performances is, yeah. are really anymore. Billy, what do you enjoy most about Branson? I think the talent here. The talent here is amazing. I, I'm getting a chance to work with the kids that are, a lot of kids are from the local area here. Their moms and dads have worked in shows here and to watch the young talent that's coming up in, in the town of Branson. I also like the fact that it's it's family. It, it really is uh, perfect for, for families. It's got family values. Family is very important and it, family is very important to me as well. And it just seems like a good good fit. Chloe Chanel is uh, you know, co-starring with you in the yeah. toy shop. She's 11 years old. She's 11, going on 20. And she was on Star <laughs> Search too, I believe. She no, was not on Star Search. America's Got Talent. I'm sorry. No, yeah. correct, correct. America's Got Talent. She was one of the, I believe, one of the finalists, close to being one of the finalists there. She's amazing, but right? wait till you hear this. If nothing else, is to come out and hear this girl sing. Uh, is is pretty phenomenal. She's going to be a star. I mark my word. She's going to be a big star in in the music industry. Chloe Chanel, come see her. She plays a really key important role. Uh, she's the heart and soul really of the entire musical. Well, it's called the Toy Shop. It's now at the Starlight Theater here in Branson. You can get more information. Go to starlighttheater.com. Starlighttheater.com. You can call the box office directly at eight six six. 991-8445. And follow us on Facebook. If you go to Facebook, it's The Toy Shop, spelled A S H O P P E. We're already posting some photos and things from there. We'd love to have you follow us. Hey, Billy Dean, Merry Christmas. Thanks Merry for stopping Christmas. by. Hey, don't lose that now. Merry Christmas, Brian. Appreciate it. All right.